Hi there, it's Wednesday the 15th of April 2020 and we're thinking this week about the opportunities which the coronavirus season gives us which we might not otherwise have. First of all, we thought about how this gives us an opportunity for a different pace of life. Um, some might be working much harder and much more intensely than before if you have a, a necessary service to provide during this time. But for many of us, it's a time for a gentler and uh, easier and more leisurely pace of life. And that's not altogether a bad thing. Secondly, it gives us an opportunity to finish some of these unfinished jobs and tasks which have been lying around waiting to be uh, finished. Not just physical tasks, but also perhaps relationally. We can maybe mend some of our relationships. We can do things which have been left undone. And thirdly, today we're thinking about the opportunity that it gives us to pursue activity or a hobby or something um, that we've perhaps not pursued before or pursued in the past and have let go of. We look outside and we see so many people walking and uh, people walking their dog. There's a funny cartoon that was sent to us of an Alsatian hiding on top of the wardrobe praying, Oh Lord, please don't let them find me. Because every member of the family, I think, was walking the dog and the poor dog's feet was sore. But out walking, very, very healthy. Uh, how about uh, jogging? Um, how about cycling? Or indoor activities, doing jigsaws, doing crochet, doing knitting, painting, model making, reading. There's a thousand and one different activities that we can pursue. And there are many of them are very worthwhile and um, they upbuild us in our spirit. And they give us a peace and they bring us a contentment, you know, because God has made us to do these things. I was uh, doing something I'd never done before, and that was I had uh, obtained a pallet, one of these wooden pallets, and I broke it up and I sawed it and nailed it and I put together a planter for one of our rose bushes in the back garden. Never done it before and it looks absolutely brilliant and there's a great sense of satisfaction at doing something new, at doing a different activity. It's good for your mental health as well as for your physical health. My daughter Amy was doing an online quiz with her friends. They all made up questions and they had a, a pretend online pub quiz, I suppose, although there was no pub involved. Again, a great social activity. So we needn't be completely socially isolated. We can make contact with others and do activities with others, even over the phone or social media. What does the Bible say about all this? Well, firstly, the Bible says that we are all made in God's image and therefore we are all creators as God is a creator. Genesis 1.26, we are made in God's image and that is in the context of God's creation. So we might not all be artistic or might not all be able to make a wooden planter with our hands, but we can all be creative in different ways. We can be creative in the way that we have our conversations with people on the phone or the way that we make YouTube clips up or the way that we knit or crochet or whatever it is. We are all creative in different ways. Secondly, the Bible says that we all have different gifts and talents that he has given us. Romans 12, 6, we have different gifts according to the grace given us. And we all have different gifts and talents within us and we can use these according to the grace that God has given us. Thirdly, the Bible says that we can try something new or we can do something in a new way, perhaps. Uh, Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. All things, there's a blank canvas for us. And there are opportunities at home just now for us to try something new or to do something in a new way. John 3 verse 8 says, The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So is everyone born of the Spirit. The very fact that we are Christians and have the Spirit within us, he is like a wind within us. He blows in different ways. He is creative. He can lead us in different ways. He can lead us in our ways of worship in different new creative ways. Perhaps we can worship God at home in ways that we've not done before. How about dancing before the Lord? Perhaps you would never have thought of doing that in church, but at home you could do that. If you have the gifts of tongues, you can pray out loud in tongues. You could read a Bible chapter out loud. You could write down all the names of God. You could phone a friend and read a psalm together. 
so many opportunities for us to be different and creative. And so let us take up this opportunity that we have to pursue hobby, to pursue activity in different ways and let the Holy Spirit lead us as he wants to lead us. May God bless you and speak to you again tomorrow.